welcome to Fish on Fridays. I'm Al McCauley and today I want to talk to you again about origin stories. Uh, if you've watched Fish on Fridays in the past, you know I love these kinds of stories. Where do we get uh, certain words from or phrases? Um, certain things that we do, practices that we have in our culture, in our modern everyday um, usage, oftentimes are rooted in our Catholic faith. And so again, this is an episode uh, about two instances, about two words that are derogatory, that are considered vulgar actually. Um, but again, they're rooted in our Catholic faith. So um, they're worth sharing. The first one is, uh, both of these, by the way, come from Britain um, and, and British holdings, the British Empire. Um, the first one is drat. Perhaps you've heard that, maybe you've, you've, heard, you've said it yourself when you're, you're confounded about something, you're frustrated about something, you'll say drat. Uh, I wish I would have done this, or drat, I missed my exit when I'm driving, whatever the case is. Um, drat, I missed another episode of Fish on Fridays, which is okay because you can always go back into the archives. But anyway, I digress. Drat really is a derivation of two words. The initial curse was God rot. G-O-D-R-O-T, two words, God rot. If something was so frustrating and confounding, um, that it was often said to be God rot. And because it was recognized as a curse and taking the Lord's name in vain, the G and the O were very quickly um, eliminated from the phrase. And it just became D-R-O-T, drot. And it was a way to curse and it was a way to do it without invoking the name of God, which of course is, a, is you know, you don't want to take the Lord's name in vain. And so over the centuries, it just kind of morphed into drat. So drat really has its uh, origins in those two words, God rot. And it's, it was a way that uh, to, to really suggest to somebody that you're frustrated without necessarily taking the Lord's name in vain. Kind of on that same wavelength is another phrase that comes from Britain, uh, and it's the exclamation bloody. Like if something is, um, you're, you're, uh, that's bloody frustrating. Um, just as an aside, uh, my favorite band in the rock and roll era, and the greatest band in the history of ever, of course, is Supertramp. Um, and they had an album in 1974 called Crime of the Century. And the second song on that album, maybe some of you have heard before, is called Bloody Well Right. And so what does that bloody mean? I've always wondered, listening to that song, what is, what is that? Obviously, it's a curse of sorts. It's, it's something that's an emphasis that, that the singer is making. Um, but what does that mean? Well, again, not to curse God. It was a way to be, uh, to tell somebody you were frustrated without using the Lord's name in vain, but invoking Mary. And really, bloody comes from, it's a contraction of by our lady. And of course, referring to the Virgin Mary. And so by our lady, I swear this is true. This is, this is absolute. And so again, not, to, uh, not wanting to offend Mary, uh, the, it became, like I said, a contraction of that into bloody. Now, we have evidence of this in British authors. <laughs> Jonathan Swift and uh, William Shakespeare himself have used the term in the writing bloody or initially by our lady. And it was B-Y-R, by our lady. Um, this is true, or I swear this to be. So from there, it kind of morphed and, and uh, was made into a contraction of bloody, by our lady down to bloody. So those two words, when you curse, hopefully you don't curse, but if you do, um, drat and bloody might be two uh, words that you want to go to because they both uh, should remind you of our Lord and our lady. And as soon as you utter those words, perhaps you could ask for forgiveness and mercy for saying them. But um, again, just another way our Catholic faith is just imbued in so much that we do and so much that we take for granted in our little phrases and, and, and things of that nature. So thanks for watching. I hope this has been kind of fun for you. And um, I hope that you will share this if you uh, think this information might uh, appeal to somebody. Uh, it'd be great if you'd subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. But either way, please keep tuning in every Friday for more Fish on Fridays. That would be bloody fantastic. Thanks and God bless.